Uh, oh, unhook you. Okay. Stay put. Okay. Oops. All right. Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. My name's Theron, and I'm here in Sheep Jail. And some of the sheep get out. These guys got out, and I don't even know where. Normally, when they get out, I see them wandering around. These guys disappear too. They just disappeared. But I had a bunch of green sheep over there, and I had a couple white sheep, so this was easy enough to deal with. Everyone else seems to be staying relatively put, but these black guys got out. Yeah, or one of them got out. Anyway, just put them away. And I got green sheep all over the place. I hope they fix that containment bug or what I don't know what they call it. Just doing a doing a little check. I know you're empty. Gray sheep, light gray. Everyone else appears to be here. Good. So I Well, two yeah. So I will need to be making more um, pink sheep. I believe that's who's missing down here. That one's easy. All right. So today I wanted to do a little, uh, a little showcase video because the cactus farm is done. Ooh, look at that. It's very exciting. Okay. Let's walk over there. So I've built a part of this on camera to do a tutorial on one of the inside layers. But this is what I was always planning on doing for the outside. I know it's not the most original thing building a, a uh, Minecraft farm inside a sculpture of the thing that it's more farming. But, you know, I think it looks cute. I wanted to do one of the uh, Seguro cactus, cactuses, like uh, Snoopy's brother Spike, his friend Cactus Joe. Oops, so, oh, hello. No, I'm not drunk, really. Yeah. So, and then to spice it up, it, so it's not just all green, I, I put some uh, black little accents, like needles here, along the sides. And, uh, Putting some jack-o'-lantern lamp posts up because it gets dark under here. I need to put more down here because it's it gets dark under the shadow of the arms of the cactus. Uh, but anyway, so let's go inside and let's take a look at what's in there. So I have a uh, herd of green sheep here because I needed a lot of green wool to build this. I don't even know how many and I'm not going to uh, try and estimate it's it's a lot and then a little pumpkin farm inside here so that uh, I can make all the the jack-o'-lanterns which I used up on the inside as you saw part of the tutorial I've got storage here right now I've got three completely full double chests of cactus plus this one is almost full and the cactus come down out of the farm into here as you can see, I cleared this out not that long ago, and uh, as you can see, basically, I get a cactus every few seconds, which is um, more than enough for my needs. So let's clear that out, stick these in here. I need to automate the removal and uh, probably build some sort of an overflow system. So I'm thinking, my initial thought was to build a rail system that goes from here down underground and carts stuff back over to home base and build some sort of a storage silo over there i may build a storage silo you can't really see but i've got some space here which might actually be enough and this is pretty tall as you'll see in a moment um so there's plenty of there's plenty of room to stick uh stick chests as you can see up here so let's go inside one of the layers here and this so this is the cactus farm Let's pop down inside and uh, go off to the side here. So it's pretty simple. I got a basin of flowing water. The inside basin is 16 by 16. So the outside dimensions are no 17 by 17. There's a hole in the center. So the outside dimensions of these square bits are 19 by 19. And it's basically a stack of jack-o'-lanterns, sand, and cactus, and then signs up above 
so that when the cactus grows, the cactus bit that grows up top pops off, falls down in here, hopefully. Uh, some of them fall on nearby cactuses and are destroyed. But then they flow down into the hole in the center. And they fall into the chest at the bottom. Oops, pretty straightforward. Um, I have five or six layers. Oops. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six layers. And up here I left the top off this one. Uh, so you can, I didn't want to have to light up the top of this. And, and one of these is a fair amount. It's like five and a half stacks of uh, wool. And I didn't want to have to slab it or um, light it up. So this is what the each layer of the farm looks like. It's uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. And I did a tutorial on building it out. If you're interested in building something like this, it's pretty minimal. There was one just went right there. It's pretty minimal. There's doesn't take uh, that much space or resources. There goes another. So you can see just between the six of them, every every few seconds, there's another cactus being popped off and going down into the uh, the chest. And I wanted to build it. Um, and there's and I've got plenty as you can see here. I have plenty of room. I could build I could double the number of layers here easily uh, Don't really want to do that though. Let's go up top. I did leave an access hatch here It's a little dangerous, but um, There's plenty of room for additional layers, but I have no need for additional layers That's I have more cactus now than I will ever use in this game Of course I say that now, but you know Oops, uh, go around this side. Getting up to the top is a little, it's a little tricky. I threw, a, I threw a, a torch up here to prevent, hopefully prevent stuff from spawning up top. Of course, if they do, they're going to fall to their death. Um, oh, you can't even see the arms from up here. I'm going to have to pop down to the lower layer. There, oh, you can kind of see one there. And I put a cactus on uh, a uh, jack-o'-lantern. Do I have one in my inventory? No, I should have brought one up. Up here, you can't see the torch or the jack-o'-lantern from down below, so it's not a big deal. Um, so I should replace this with a jack-o'-lantern. But from up here, you can see pretty far. As far as my render distance is set. You can see home base. I wanted to build this just far enough away that you could see it from home. And, uh, oh, it's getting to be nighttime. I better get down before it gets dark. It gets difficult to man navigate this at night. There we go. I did not build this up here with the intention of coming up frequently. Just left just enough there we go just left just enough to uh, to be able to get my way back down I might be off center just enough here but you can see I've got tons of room here to build a massive storage silo I suppose if I wanted to and I haven't lit up the outside as much as I should um, I need to add more lamp posts out there so you can see while we've been here, just since we walked inside, we almost have a stack of cactus. And because this is visible from home, it's active when I'm at home base. So this thing's constantly producing cactus. In fact, I came out here before this video just to make sure everything was prepared. And um, guess what? The chest was full and the hopper was backed up and stuff was probably sitting up on, uh, on the upper layer. Ooh, oh, that was black. That wasn't green. Uh, stuff was sitting up on the upper layer. Um, probably, probably some of it was despawning, which is just fine. That was kind of my overflow plan. Whoops. Sorry, it's, it gets dark over here, and I get beasties spawning nearby. So, 
trying to light up the outside a little bit need to do a little bit more so anyway that's the uh, the cactus farm as you can see it's pretty big it's not super huge but it's pretty big and I have to figure out what to do with these sheep I don't need this many green sheep anymore this was a temporary flock I hate the notion of just walking through and wholesale killing them all but I may have to do that although I like the sounds anyway um, and then I want to so if I build an underground railway it'll probably come down down to this layer which means I'm gonna have to fill in this this bit in here which is fine I have a couple cave entrances a couple uh, cave entrances here which I've explored there's not much down there that is interesting and then there's another one over here which was slightly more interesting but um, not not hugely profitable so I may fill in this little valley this little dell or whatever you would call this here and uh, run the rail line below it because I think this and this are at the same height I haven't confirmed and then that way the and then the railway rail car would come up into this area here and uh and then maybe fill in this over here remove my my big tree or move it and then build a storage silo right here like a massive storage silo uh because i also have an abundance of eggs and cooked chicken I haven't checked those in a while let's go check check them oh and i have flocks of green sheep over here too so i wanted enough sheep that walking through and spending you know a game day that's not too bad. Cooked chicken, feathers, and eggs. So I, I've built little storage chests over here, but they're these aren't terribly whoops, these aren't terribly attractive. See I've got I've got plenty of cooked chicken. I don't really need more. I have feathers galore. Which uh, I probably used for uh, feathers primarily, I think, seem to be useful for uh, fireworks. Which I've been playing around with in creative mode, and they're a lot of fun. Um, oops, hey. Oh, there's some. Am I out of egg storage again? <laughs> Uh, oh no, I got egg storage up the wazoo. See, I got a lot of eggs. And it'd be nice to put these into a into a storage system. And because this thing keeps producing eggs too. And see how it's going? The uh, This hopper gotten backed up too and probably had plenty of eggs despawning up there, which again is fine. I don't need this many eggs. I don't cook cake. But you know. If I need eggs, I have them. Sorry, and it'd be nice not to have to do this manually. I put signs on this because I I'd have to reacquaint myself with how this machine works okay so there we go I need to decorate this building so I was thinking of using wool to put an outer skin on and make a giant egg I should probably still do that there we go and there's not that many chickens up in the up in the reservoir anymore either just like there's not that many chickens up here laying eggs I could turn this into a much more efficient machine, or a much more productive machine. Uh, all I have to do is add more eggs. Hey guys, how are you doing? 
Yeah. And I think what's happening is they changed the AI so that the chickens will stay still. I know that they, they will try to walk near, uh, towards the nearest adult chickens. Oh, man. More cooked chicken. Uh, but sometimes they will just stand in the center where it's safe. Not, I don't think, I don't think they stand there because they know it's safe. They just don't have a reason to move around. And the adult chickens will stand there and sometimes lay eggs. So that's why I get eggs in this chest from time to time. But, it's in here. Oh, I got, I got stuff in here. Yeah, you know what, let's just. Let's move all the stuff back. <clears throat> and uh, let's take the chest. And the crafting bench. Alright, so anyway, that's what I wanted to show you there today. I think that's pretty cool. And it looks neat at sunset. The sun setting behind it. So I think I chose a good place for it visually. Um, it is a little bit... There's no off switch. So there's no way of... Uh, you know it's active it's making it's making cactus right now which is not helping my frame rate too much but you know it helps when i look away i got a lot of animals a lot of entities running around here so i may thin out the herds a little bit i've been waiting until these guys glitch out and then I, when i found them wandering around i i kill them which isn't particularly nice i have a pig with a saddle here so I wanted to get the when pigs fly achievement so I did that and I I will keep that guy around just because he helped me with an achievement and I need to figure out what to do with the, this stuff over here so anyway I think that's I'm gonna call that an episode thank you for watching um, and I will see you next time Goodbye.